Okay, here's how we're gonna do our Henry Matisse shape collage. I have all of these colors of construction paper. I've got tons, I've got some shapes for you. The first thing you do is you pick out a color of construction paper. So I'm going to pick this color first. Okay. Then I pick out a shape that I like. I like this. See, it's got one, two, three, four, five, six sides, so it is a hexagon. All right, next I'm gonna take a Sharpie. This is called tracing. I'm gonna hold it down and as best I can, I'm going to trace around the edges. Now you guys might not be using Sharpies. I might have you guys use marker because Sharpie is permanent. After I go around, I remove it and ta-da! I have the shape. Now you guys have to do this. Check this out. You've got to do it nine times. All right, so that's one. Now I get to pick a different paper. I'm gonna pick this one and I can pick a different shape. I'm gonna pick this one and now I trace around it. So I'm gonna hold it down. I actually am gonna use a marker because it'll be much easier. So I hold it down, I take the marker, I'm pushing against the stencil and I go all the way around, okay? Now I have two. How many do I have to have? Nine, I've got two. Nine, take away two. So not nine, not eight, but seven left. I pick another color and I pick another shape. I like this one that kind of looks like a cloud. All right, I'm gonna trace around it. And if I get a little off, that's okay. Oop. Okay, now I have three, I need six more. I'm gonna pick another color. I'm gonna pick this color. I pick another shape. I'm gonna pick this shape. Put it on the paper. Trace around it. Hold it down, go around. Okay, now I have four. I need five more. Pick another color. I'm gonna go with pink. I pick another shape. I'm gonna go with a heart. Aw, pink heart. I'm gonna trace around it. Okay, and remove it, and now I have a heart. Okay, one, two, three, four. I now have five done. One, two, three, four, five. I need four more, and if you wanna repeat the same shape or the same color, that's fine. I'm gonna pick to do a triangle. Now this takes up most of the paper, so I could just put it up against the edge and go like that. And then I know to cut here, cut there. All right, that's six, I need three more. Now check this out, you can make your own shapes up. So for one or two of them, I could just make up any shape that I want as long as I make it kind of big. There's one. So now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many more do I need to get to nine? Eight nine, two. I'm gonna pick another color. I'm gonna pick another shape. You know what? I think I wanna do this trapezoid. All right, two more. I hold it down and I go around the edge. All right, there's eight. I only need one more. I'm gonna use white. Okay, and I'm gonna do another shape. I'm gonna do this square. Trace, trace. I'm pushing against the cardboard. All right. This is the first step. I had to cut out one, or I'm sorry, draw. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine shapes. Whew. That was hard, but that's what we're gonna do here at red. Then you are going to move to yellow. So pretend like I just took my shapes. We're changing centers. I'm going over to yellow. When I go to yellow, there will be scissors. Now comes a really, really hard part. 
Now I have to take the scissors and I'm gonna cut out my nine shapes. So as best I can, I am going to stick right on the black lines that I drew with the marker. If I get a little off, is it okay? If I go like that? Yeah, it's okay. Henry Matisse, he would sometimes make completely crazy shapes. So even if it comes off a little weird looking, that's okay. So now at the yellow table, I have cut one out. This one is pretty easy since I just have to make one cut. Since I lined up the edges, I just have to make one cut. There's two. There's three. Okay. Now I need to cut out this banana shape. What is this one called? All right, a crescent. Okay. Got it. What's this one called? Circle. Now I can do this really fast because I have had a lot of practice cutting. The more you practice something, the better you get. Okay, now on to the next one. Think about Matisse and the book we read and how he would cut out his shapes, glue them down. He had people that helped him. I'm here to help you. If you need help, I can help you. Okay. I'm down to my last few. I cut out my heart. Oh, I got a little off, but that's okay. I can still tell it's a heart. Almost done. I always find it easiest when I'm cutting to turn to the way that I want to cut so I can cut that way. I find it easy, so I turn this way and I cut faster that way. Some people, they try to like do weird things where you're moving your arm around like that. Instead, just cut this way, then turn the paper so that I'm still cutting up, and then turn the paper, I'm still cutting up. Makes it a lot easier, turn it. Okay, that's it, I've got, let's check that I've got my nine shapes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and this is what I will do at the yellow table. And then when it is time to change tables, I'm going to carry my stuff with me and I'm going to go to the green table. At the green table, you will have a piece of black paper. You are going to lay your shapes out. Now see how the Sharpie or the marker is on this side? You're gonna flip it over because you don't want that marker to show. So I can see the marker here right here, so I wanna flip it so that the marker doesn't show. And I get to decide how to lay my shapes. So first I'll lay them down. Now I look at it, oh, see, I can see this ugly marker line showing, but if I flip it over, it's the same shape, but then it's not showing. So now I am going to glue down my shapes how I want. Okay, they can overlap. Overlap means one goes in front of the other. In fact, they will probably have to. They won't fit unless you overlap them. You decide which ones you want to be in front and which ones you want to be behind. How you want it to look. When you've got them laid out where you want, then it is time to start gluing. And this is how we do our shape Matisse collage.